Okay, so we have some belly paper here that we need to mend. Um, somebody had come in and did a repair or inspection and they cut about 10 to 15 feet um, down. So what I'm gonna try to do is um, get it as close together as possible and uh, maybe by using some uh, some one by lumber and putting it up in there and kind of letting the wood be the the braces so that I can staple and try to close up this uh, this opening here and then come back after that's done <clears throat> And uh, put on some of this flex mend. It's uh, four four inches by 108 feet, 36 yards. Um, I think I got it on Amazon for about thirty dollars or something like that. Um, so it's really, really close to the material that. Um, is here and what's nice about it is like a tape it's a it's got a self-adhesive on the back so hopefully with that I'm gonna be finishing up this repair all right so one thing that I came up with was this little snow sled um, to come down and bring to bring this down under here so I can put all my tools and it's really nice and easy. I can just push it, push it along. And uh, a couple weeks ago, it was really wet down here. Um, there was a, a leak in the main, and um, the, the mobile home park got that fixed. But before then, it was uh, basically impossible to work down here because of all the water. But um, now it's fairly dry, it's still moist, but see this here keeps everything off the ground. So it's really nice if you've got something moist or wet like this. And uh, this is something that I just barely came up with when <laughs> after we went, uh, took the kids to the snow and I had it um, in the garage when I was packing the tools and I thought I can put the tools in here and uh, push it along and keep them all dry uh, so the, that was this is a, a pretty nice little thing to carry the tools um, so now I'm gonna try to uh, get this insulation and put it back inside and try to close up this gap as much as I can put some two, uh, some one by in there you can use either one by one by uh, two, one by four, and one by six. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I'll be showing you how I, I put that in there to kind of help me uh, close up this gap and kind of hold it in place uh, so I can come back with this uh, flex mend and hopefully get it all type, um, taped up and sealed. And um, not only will it um, look nice but it'll be uh, properly sealed as well so let's try that and see how that goes um, really just a this one by two would really just do it um, you don't really need more than this uh, stapler gun and your flex men tape um, with the self adhesive back it's just about the same material as what's on here and uh, you could either pre-cut your pieces of wood and have them all ready or I chose to bring it down because I didn't really know how long I'm going to need it um, so that you can what I'm going to be doing is putting cross a cross member in here on the on the inside of this to act as a brace so that I can staple and bring these two pieces together as much as I can. Um, and the 
let's try a piece here. Uh, you want to be very careful when you're using a saw down here. <clears throat> You've got to be pretty familiar and comfortable with the saw. Um, I always like to keep it as far away from me as possible um, to avoid any kickbacks. But right now, I'm just going to figure about two feet here would be fine. So I'm just going to kind of... Okay, so this is less than two feet. That's all right, we'll use it as a sample piece. Okay, so basically what you'll be doing is uh, you're gonna be using this piece of lumber in here just as a, just as a, as a brace and then I would choose, see this, this side here is better supported than this side. So I would staple that one first and give it about maybe six inches or so. And staple one and then you're going to come here and try to get it as close. As close as you can. That way, you use as lace as uh, less less tape as possible. Okay. 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 And then you can come back here and finish this off. Don't worry about your wood being so straight. It is not, that's not important. What's important is you wanna go maybe every foot or two foot, teeth, two feet um, um, spaced out these pieces here. That way to help you hold this, this, uh, the belly paper. And that way when you're all done, you can come back and start sealing this with your, flex mend and uh, get it all sealed up um, but this is just acting as a hold um, for when you're ready for uh, for when you're ready for your tape so um, let's keep going here yeah you, your pieces don't need to be that big I mean really if you got six and six here on this side uh, and then about three inches so really you can get away with a foot and a half uh, but I feel better doing at least two feet. Okay, 